from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. What is affordable housing? That was the focus of a discussion last week at the Henrico Planning Commission. We'll tell you about it in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Monday, March 13th, 2023, and it's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. On Thursday, the Henrico Planning Commission endorsed plans for a multifamily residential community in northern Henrico of up to 186 units. The community would be located just off Chamberlain Road. The proposal that was endorsed by the commission contains some new conditions that have been submitted that day. Richmond-based Spyrock Real Estate and Crescent Development would partner to build the community which also is planned to include a small solar panel area designed to make the property more affordable for residents. Much of the discussion during the commission's meeting focused on the concept of this community being one for affordable housing. A staff report about the proposal said, quote, the net metered solar as an accessory use to new affordable housing furthers the county's stated goals of solar generation reinvestment in county designated derelict properties and housing affordability end quote but during the meeting planning members said that media coverage had misstated that the the proposal was an affordable housing development in response to a question from the commission an applicant for the developers said that the cost for a one-bedroom unit was proposed to be about eleven hundred dollars monthly the applicant's representative said that the Developers have a desire to transform the underutilized property into a new community and that their goal was housing, quote, attainability, end quote, with likely residents being those in working class jobs like nursing and retail workers for nearby commercial districts. You can read much more from this case later today at HenricoCitizen.com. If you have ever wanted to drive your own car around Richmond Raceway, this Thursday is your next chance to do so. It's part of Track Laps for Charity, a special event that will benefit the Special Olympics of Virginia. Members of the public will be able to drive their cars or trucks for five laps around the track for a donation of $20 to Richmond Raceway Cares, a nonprofit arm of the track that provides funding for youth-oriented organizations locally this event mentioned will benefit the Special Olympics. Track laps for charity will take place from 5 to 7 on Thursday. The maximum speed is 55 miles an hour. For details you can visit richmondraceway.com backslash events backslash track laps. More than 25,000 Virginians tried to cast ballots in the 2022 midterm elections under same-day registration rules, a new process that had the most impact in college towns, according to statewide data. A total of 25,353 ballots were cast through same-day registration in the program's first year, according to a post-election report. About 96% of those votes were counted as legitimate, according to Virginia Mercury. Some local election officials throughout the state said that the same-day registration seemed particularly popular on college campuses that are often hubs of student organizing and get out the vote outreach efforts. You can read more about this topic at HenricoCitizen.com right now. Well, today marks the beginning of Virginia Flood Awareness Week and a new tool is designed to help residents of this area determine their property's flood risk. You can visit Plan RVA's free flood risk mapper to determine the threat to your property. And you can visit our website, HenricoCitizen.com, look for this article to find a link to that tool. The Federal Emergency Management Agency says that 90% of natural disasters in the U.S. involve a flood. In Virginia, just 3% of people have flood insurance. It's usually an additional policy for owners, renters, and businesses that can cover buildings and contents to help recover faster after a flood. And in case you missed it last week, the Verona High School Blue Devils boys basketball team is now a two-time state champion. The Blue Devils defeated E.C. Glass High School 59-56 on Thursday night at VCU Siegel Center to win their second straight Class 4 state title. K.J. Weish scored 14 points and hit the game-winning basket to help his team claim the victory. 
Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Henrico County. Henrico County is now hiring. You can visit henrico.us backslash jobs to view a complete list of all opportunities, full and part-time, that are currently available. To learn more about Henrico's commitment to its employees in the Henrico way, and find out why employees like Henrico Police Logistics Asset Manager Kristen Gaines say, quote, Henrico feels like my home. It really is my family. I can't imagine doing anything else. That's henrico.us backslash jobs.